Hello Wizzes. Welcome to my channel. Question 1. Which of the following is the primary purpose of vaccines? A. To treat existing infections. B. To boost the immune system in healthy individuals. C. To replace the need for antibiotics. D. To promote viral mutation. Correct answer, B, to boost the immune system in healthy individuals. Question 2, what is herd immunity in the context of vaccination? A, the idea that vaccines only work for certain age groups. B, a situation where a large portion of a population is immune to a disease, reducing its spread. C, a type of vaccine designed for livestock. D, a term used to describe the collective immunity of a single family. Correct answer, B, a situation where a large portion of a population is immune to a disease, reducing its spread. Question 3. Which component in vaccines stimulates the immune system to produce a protective response against a specific disease? A. Antibiotics B. Adjuvants C. Antivirals D. Antioxidants Correct answer, B, adjuvants. Question 4. What is the term for a vaccine that contains weakened or inactivated forms of the pathogen it protects against? A, live attenuated vaccine. B, subunit vaccine. C, mRNA vaccine. D, booster vaccine. Correct answer, A, live attenuated vaccine. Question 5, what is the primary purpose of the mRNA vaccines developed for COVID-19, such as the Pfizer-BioNTech and Moderna vaccines? A, to introduce a weakened form of the virus into the body. B, to directly attack the virus in the bloodstream. C, to trigger the production of viral proteins in the body. D, to provide immediate immunity without the need for booster shots. Correct answer, C, to trigger the production of viral proteins in the body. Question 6, which of the following vaccines is known for its use in preventing cervical cancer? A. MMR vaccine. B. Hepatitis B vaccine. C. Polio vaccine. D. HPV vaccine. Correct answer. D. HPV vaccine. Question 7. What is the purpose of the booster shots in vaccination schedules? A. To increase the effectiveness of the original vaccine. B. To replace the need for the primary vaccine. C. To provide immediate immunity against multiple diseases. D. To maintain and prolong immunity over time. Correct answer, D, to maintain and prolong immunity over time. Question 8, which of the following is a common side effect of many vaccines? A, enhanced physical strength. 
b. Temporary soreness at the injection site. c. Immediate resistance to all infections. d. Permanent loss of taste and smell. Correct answer, B, temporary soreness at the injection site. Question 9. How do vaccines typically work to provide immunity against diseases? A. By introducing weakened or inactivated forms of the pathogen into the body. B. By directly killing all pathogens in the body. C. By boosting the production of white blood cells. D. By increasing the body's sensitivity to allergens. Correct answer, by introducing weakened or inactivated forms of the pathogen into the body. Question 10. Which historical event is often cited as a significant milestone in the development of vaccines? A. The discovery of antibiotics. B. The invention of the microscope. C. The smallpox vaccination by Edward Jenner. D. The introduction of the first antibiotics. Correct. Answer, C, the smallpox vaccination by Edward Jenner. Question 11, why is it important for a vaccine to undergo rigorous testing and clinical trials before it is approved for widespread use? A, to determine the vaccine's price for distribution. B, to identify potential side effects and ensure safety and effectiveness. C, to establish the manufacturing process for mass production. D. To speed up the vaccine development process. Correct answer. B. To identify potential side effects and ensure safety and effectiveness. Question 12. What is the term for the process by which a population becomes immune to a disease when a sufficient percentage of individuals have been vaccinated or have gained natural immunity? A. Epidemiological transition. B. Viral suppression. C. Herd immunity. D. Immune fortification. Correct answer, C, herd immunity. Question 13, which of the following types of vaccines uses a harmless piece of the pathogen, such as a protein or sugar, to stimulate an immune response in the body? A, inactivated vaccines. B, live attenuated vaccines. C, subunit, recombinant, or conjugate vaccines. D, viral vector vaccines. Correct answer, C, subunit, recombinant, or conjugate vaccines. Question 14. What is the main purpose of the cold chain in the distribution of vaccines? A, to maintain the temperature of vaccines below freezing. B, to transport vaccines using special, refrigerated trucks. C, to ensure vaccines are stored and transported at the recommended temperature range. D to speed up the distribution of vaccines to remote areas. Correct answer, C, to ensure vaccines are stored and transported at the recommended temperature range. Question 15, which of the following statements about vaccine development is true? A. 
All vaccines are developed using the same approach and technology. B. Vaccine development is a quick and straightforward process that does not require extensive research and testing. C. Vaccine development typically involves multiple phases of research, preclinical testing, and clinical trials to ensure safety and effectiveness. D. Vaccine development is primarily focused on treating existing infections rather than preventing them. Correct answer, C. Vaccine development typically involves multiple phases of research, preclinical testing, and clinical trials to ensure safety and effectiveness. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.